Hi, how you doing? Come on in. My name is Charlotte Witherspoon. I want to show you the condition, how I'm living here. Up under the sink, I have a pot up under here where the water keeps dripping and running. The floor right here is soaked and it's caving in. I have to put the rugs down here so my kids won't cut their feet. Do is all right here going on up to the ceiling. This right here, the wall is coming off right here in the tub. You can see right here where the door right here is coming off. She won't fix that. I've been here for seven to eight years. The inner city. They doing a lot. If it weren't for them, I'll be in the street right now with my kids and I'll have to pay for nothing. They do it for me for free. My name's Adam Murray. I'm the executive director here at Inner City Law Center. Inner City Law Center, when it was founded, really had at its core the idea that every human being at all times should be treated with dignity and respect. And that housing was a fundamental piece of, of what we all need and what we all deal with. And uh, over time, we've come to grow quite a bit. Today, we have over 20 employees. Our office is bookend Skid Row. Uh, we focus predominantly on housing and homelessness issues, especially in slum housing litigation. We sue the slum lords and we force them to fix up their buildings. But we also do a good bit of work with keeping families in their homes. And we've developed a specialty as well in public benefits work, helping veterans to apply for their veterans benefits, helping disabled homeless individuals to apply for social security or for general relief, uh, which is often the first step for them getting off the street and getting back on their feet and getting a home. Mi nombre es María Zárate y estoy viviendo en mi nuevo apartamento, pero esto no fue siempre así. Conocimos a Inner City porque la dueña del edificio donde vivíamos nos dio una orden de, de evicción. Entonces, pues, era bastante grave y tuvimos que la necesidad de buscar quien, quien nos, nos apoyara o nos defendiera o cuando menos nos informara de nuestros derechos. Había cucarachas, ratones, eh, muy dañados los techos, los baños, como eh, las puertas estaban dañadas, eh, las alfombras estaban muy sucias y muchas cosas más todavía. Una de las tantas cosas que me sucedieron en ese departamento fue que la dueña decidió que iba a quitar los barandales, pero también quitó mis ventanas. Mi niño era muy chiquito y estaba acostumbrado que podía sentarse en la orilla de, de la ventana, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues por un accidente mío también, eh, el niño se fue, se fue hacia afuera y se lastimó. La ventana tardó sin vidrio 55 días. Fue un caso muy grande, eh, hubo, hubo mucha gente que estábamos demandando a estos dueños. A nosotros ganamos la demanda, uh, Inner City trabajó muy fuerte, la demanda se ganó por 7 millones de dólares, eh, definitivamente le cambió la vida a todas las personas que vivíamos en ese edificio, se ganó el caso. My name is Richard Hernandez. Yeah, I was uh, drafted uh, in 1969 and uh, ended up uh, in Vietnam. Yeah, I met Inner City through my sister. She enabled me to meet Rick Little, who took my case and got me the settlement that uh, I deserved. Originally, they had sent me uh, $99 a month and the retroactive check uh, turned out to be $76,000, which put my life back on track. <laughs> Inner City Law Center has been serving the poor in LA County since 1980. As the only legal organization headquartered on Skid Row, we serve over 2,000 homeless and working poor clients each year. Everything that ICLC does is made possible by the generosity of supporters like you. There are two ways that you can help. 
with your money and with your time, and we need both of them.